Let's take a look at sick leave. Sick leave provides pay to employees when they're out of work due to illness. Most policies grant full pay for a specified number of sick days, perhaps 12 per year, usually accumulating at the rate of one day per month of service. Six states and several cities now have mandatory paid sick leave law. The problem with sick days is that many employees use them whether they're sick or not. In one survey, personal illnesses accounted for about 45% of unscheduled sick leave absences. Employers use several tactics to reduce excessive sick leave absence. About 87% use pooled paid leave plans. These lump together sick leave, vacation, and personal days into a single leave pool. In one SHRM survey, the average days awarded depended on employees' time with the employer and ranged from 13 to 26. Most firms don't include federal holidays in their paid time off banks. Another tactic is to repurchase unused sick leave at the end of the year by paying their employees for each unused sick day. The problem is that legitimately sick employees may come to work. Parental leave is an important benefit. About half of workers are women, and 80% of them will become pregnant during their work lives. Furthermore, many workers are single parents. Many employers enrich their parental leave plans to make them more attractive for mothers to return from maternity leave. Recently, there's been a discussion of the need for federal parental paid leave legislation.